Oh my god. Comment down below if you are a butt cheek. I can't say that, EJ. What is up, party people? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is EJ. I am an automotive fabricator and TIG welder in the making. Um, most of my recent videos have been TIG welding because I just picked up my own welder. I've been taking welding lessons for a few months now and uh, that's what I've been enjoying the most lately. In the future, you're gonna see stuff like car builds, working on cars, welding, mostly a lot of car stuff. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the channel, it's good to have you. If you haven't already, make sure to go hit that subscribe button. Guys, we are almost to 10,000 subscribers. I think we're at like 8,800 right now on the dot, I believe. Uh, so we are like 1,200 away from 10,000, which is, uh, a pretty cool milestone and I'm really looking forward to hitting that so please help me out along the way hit that sub button It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it and without further ado, let's get into today's video For no reason in particular at all, can I measure your wrist? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these little bracelets um, made from aluminum filler rod. So I've already made a few and I have one on. This is a super simple, super easy project. Uh, literally anyone can do this. And personally, I think it makes like a really great um, heartfelt gift because I love gifting people things that I make. I'd rather make something than buy something. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these because like I said, super simple. One thing I do want to add in here is that I did not come up with this design or this process by myself. It was definitely inspired by um, videos I've seen online as well as my welding teacher. He's been wearing one of these bracelets and I've kind of been eyeing it wondering how I could make my own and then we talked about it last week and he kind of gave me the the Cliff Notes version on how to make it and I got home the next day. I figured it out in like 10 minutes so I figured it would be something cool to share with you guys. Let's get into the video. We're going to start with the materials that you're gonna need. So the welder and all of the materials that you need to weld aside. So you're gonna need at least two filler rods. Um, if you don't have two, you could take one and cut it in half. But I'm gonna make a couple. So I'm gonna use two full length rods. This is 330 seconds, 53, 56 aluminum filler rod. So that is what I'm gonna be using today. And then you will also need a power drill okay and then a little mallet or a hammer of some sort oh you also need a vise or something to hold the rods with um, luckily there's a vise in the garage so I'm just gonna use that I'm sure you could come up with some sort of solution or, or alternative if you guys don't have a vise at home but um, it certainly makes the job easier so like I said, I already made myself one and then I already have, well, I had four extras. I gave one to my best friend last night for her birthday and then I'm gonna make one for my mom, my sister, my dad, my brother, my brother-in-law. Basically, everyone and anyone I know <laughs> is gonna be receiving one of these because like I said, so easy to make, but I just think it's really cool that it's handmade, homemade. Yeah, just a little fun, little fun, um, activity. The first step is um, twirling the rods together. So we're going to go head over to the vise. I'm going to bring my drill with me and my filler and I'll meet you over there. All right. So we have our power drill. We have our, our two uh, filler rods here. So I'm going to stick these in the vise, tighten them in there. And then because I'm not a freaking giant and I can't reach all the way up here, I'm going to bend them towards me. 
at a bit of a diagonal because the space here is a little cramped, but I'm just going to bend them kind of gently so they don't snap. Okay, like so. Now I'm going to insert the ends into the drill, tighten it till it grabs, and then once you're all uh, locked and loaded, just fire away. Just like that, we have our perfect strand all twirled together. And now we're gonna take it out of the vise and head back to my little workbench. Now all we have to do is um, cut them into the length that we want. For me, it was easy because I had my own wrist to compare to. I kind of just like held it up against my wrist and then cut at the spot that I thought would be good. They're also kind of flexible too. So once you kind of have around the right measurement, you can always bend and kind of shape them to fit your wrist the best. I was hanging out with some friends last night and they also wanted one. So I'm gonna make, um, a few more of this size and then a few more of um, my my dad's size. So today I'm gonna make two different sizes, um, but again, the size just depends on like the diameter of your wrist. So you can just measure it or eyeball it. It's kind of what I did. That was a long way of saying you can choose whatever the heck length you want. So I'm gonna mark out sections of seven on here and then some sixes too for the smaller wrists. Next step is take your wire cutters and cut on the lines that you marked. Well, here are the pieces that I have cut out. They're so satisfying. I like just staring at them. Okay, next what we're going to do is tack up the ends so that they will not unravel themselves. So let me get my machine all set up. I have to switch cups and uh, we'll get to that. Now it is time to tack. So without filler, just the torch, I'm going to heat up these ends and then they will fuse together. It's basically just a tack. So super fast on and off the pedal and they will fuse to each other. So... something to note, your pieces will be kind of toasty, even for just that little tack. You've been warned. Now that we have our pieces all tacked together, it's time to sh start. <laughs> it's time to start shaping them and forming them into our little cute bracelet. I'm going to be using this three inch piece of aluminum tube to get our initial bend in, and then from there we're going to head back to the vise and tweak our shape from there. But to start, I take this and I take my piece and it helps for some reason when I put my sweatshirt like this and you just bend it. We have something like this which looks nothing like a bracelet yet but we will get there in just a second. So we have our initial bend here and then from here it's kind of just just kind of use your best judgment on where the curve should be and how much it should curve and the good thing is that um if you bend it too far or you make the wrong um curvature i guess it is easy to just bend it back and kind of restart so for my first one I have like this, uh, this initial bend here and I like that for the top of the wrist. Then I'm gonna go about a third of the way in on each side and I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna make my, um, my second curves like around the side of the wrist around there and then tweak from there. So, so now we have our super rough shape 
of the bracelet. I also like to use this guy to help uh, form form the shape and this isn't super technical, kind of just whatever feels right kind of thing. After I have them try it on, I'll probably tweak it from there. But that is the basics on how to make a bracelet out of filler rod. And just like that, we have our bracelets made. As far as the shaping goes, it's really just um, a trial and error kind of process. As you saw, I was bending it with the vise and also using that mallet to encourage it to bend the way I want it to. I do want to try doing like a braided one and see how that works out. Um, there's just... There's a lot to play with here, so I'm excited to um, mess around with these some more. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and like I said, hit that subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 10K. So yeah, let's uh, let's get this channel to 10K. At 10K, I'd like to do a little giveaway of some sort. Um, no, I'm not gonna be giving away a freaking car, but like maybe a piece that I weld or make or something. Something that I create, um, I could give away. I think that might be, might be a cool idea. Comment down below if you guys have any other ideas I should do for like a little 10K celebration kind of thing. I wanna know what you guys are thinking. If you guys make these bracelets at home, I wanna see them. So like send me an Instagram DM would probably be the best way or tag me in a story or something. I really wanna see what you guys create at home. So I hope this video was helpful and maybe inspired you to get in the garage and work on a project. It might not be a car, it might not be something huge, but just do something small, get creative, you know, get the, get the creative juices flowing. That's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.